Okay, so now we have, or oh, we want to do the, exactly the same thing, but for this four bar mechanism we have here as well, okay? Corresponding to the link three, sorry, sorry to the joint three. So what we have is, uh, again, we have the joint three, that one, and then we have an open, or we will implement uh, one change in, one chain in that direction until this point, and another chain in that direction until this point. So let me just first complete the first part of the chain. Uh, is uh, join three will be actually moving uh, this uh, servo crank, yeah, that one. Servo three crank element. So that will be child of join three. Where is it? Here it is. And also the corresponding non-pure uh, non uh, object also will be moved and then we have an, an axis here a joint there will be a joint that one that will be child of the crank that's it and then we have this which is beam 3 so that one will be a child of joint 15 yeah that's it and then we have another axis here that one. So that will be child of this one. Ah, and the beam three will be child of the dynamic object. That's it. Okay. And now, uh, just to summarize, we have the link one, which will be, or they have a, it has a child which is joint three that has the crank, and then this has, it has this beam here. And then it finishes here with this joint. This joint actually will be moving this part here, but it will be done in a separate um, chain, okay? So what we have to do is to start from, again, from link one, and in order to get to this point here, we need to start or, or start with the link, uh, joint three, sorry, joint two, dynamic uh, link two, exactly, and this will be moving, and then we, we have an axis here. Let me see which is that one. That will be child of link to dynamic. So whenever the link to moves, this joint will be moving again. Okay. And then this will drag this dynamic link three dynamic object. So, and also the uh, that one. Yeah, that's it. So now we have all the elements. Now I need to create the dummies. Uh, okay, let me just simply create the dummies from the ones I have already. So we keep the properties and the size properties and everything. Let's call it link three. Uh, link, let's call it link two three. Uh, target and. Uh, Yeah, that's it. So now we need to place uh, or to position these uh, dummies in the correct place. So they need to be in this position there. That's it. So we move them there, one and the other one to exactly the same position. And now we just simply create, uh, oh, sorry, we move dummy there and we move this dummy to the link three dynamic object that one okay and now we have to create the link between the dummies so this will be linked with the link to three tip with the dynamics overlap constraint that's it okay so now just to recap we have link one we have join three the servo crank, joint 15, the beam 3, joint 13 that will be linked to uh, with these dummies to uh, link 3 dynamic and then we have backwards we have joint 12, uh, link 2 dynamic, joint 2 and then back again to link 1 so we are closing the chain okay that's that's correct okay so now we need to uh, include another uh, 
part of the code uh, in order to control the third servo. So we simply copy paste uh, what we have here. Join three will be join three. This variable will be called q3 ref. And that will be three and three. And these two lines will be copied and modified. Sorry, this will be a three. And that will be a three. Okay, so that it, it will point to this function here. And finally, we just simply copy this and print the, the links. Okay, that's it. So now, if we pay. If we uh, sorry, that's because uh, probably this is because join three is not actuated. Join three for whatever reason I did not act to uh, enable that. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Okay, so we have the first one, the second one. That's correct. Okay, let me show it to you. Yeah, and the third one. It's working fine. Okay. Thank you very much.